And we're back again inside of a presentation for eMaze, the cloud-based presentation software. Um, so one of the first things I want to go over is this top menu bar. So you have text, image, media, shapes, and charts. So under the text tab, in order to add something new, you just click on text and then you can click on what type of text you're adding, whether it be a title, which is something that's going to be bigger, a subtitle, which is going to be smaller than the title, but bigger than the normal text, or text. So I'll click on text and it'll make a new text box for us. Working on new presentation. So we can click on that, we can change a variety of things. If we click on the small t, big t, this is the font size. So you can scroll that up or scroll that down to make that font bigger or smaller. And then once I do that, I can actually make my box bigger or smaller as well and the text will fit automatically. The only thing I don't like about this is if you shrink it down too small, the text will actually go outside of the box, as you can see here. Um, and it'll all show up. It won't, you know, it won't disappear like in other programs. Um, I'm going to undo all of that. Um, this next um, tab is the justification. So you can justify left, middle, right, or all in the middle um, with equal spacing on either side. Um, these are, some of these other ones should be pretty familiar to you. This is bold. And then A with the underline under it is the color of the actual text. So the color in the free version, what happens is the colors that are located in here are the ones that are native to your template. Um, so those are really the only options that you have using the free version. So just make sure and be mindful of, you know, what colors you pick because those are the colors that, um, or what colors are in your template, because those are the colors that you're going to be stuck with throughout your template. So, um, and then the, the next one is the background color. So you can make the background color of the box any color that you want. Um, you can also click on any of these and choose any of the colors that are in here. You can also use a hex value if you're into that and you know what that is. Um, the next one is effects. So you can have this loop around if you like. You can have it grow on a, on a hover. You can have it wobble on a hover. So there are a couple of different things that you can do in here. Um, I don't generally get too deep into these because that's not my style but you're more than welcome to, to go through those. And just to note, any of the ones that have a star by them only work in Chrome and Safari. So if the person who's viewing it is not viewing it in Chrome or Safari, they may not see the gradient effect. Um, and I'm sure there are some other effects that are in there as well. So, um, yeah, this is the next tool up here is the gradient. So it'll fade it in, fade it out. It's a pretty simple slider, up-down slider. Um, the next one is bullets. You know, bullets are not bullets. And then you can see your paragraph work here as well. I'm going to... And then the this is, to me, this kind of latter half is where you start getting into the, the cooler, more complex things that you can do with this software. Uh, you can link to anything external. So... Let's type in HTTP semicolon slash slash www.google.com. And so we can add that and then you can see here, I don't know if you can see it, I'll zoom in for you, but there's a tiny little like link right there. And if you hover over it, it'll tell you where it's actually linked to, which is kind of cool. So you can keep track. And you can know what elements on your page are actually linked or not linked. Um, you can upload an audio file. You can paste a URL from the web. 
And then you have a bunch of options down here to when to start it, when to stop it, whether to loop it, whether to play it automatically. There's, there's a lot of different options and functionality here. Now this tool here is really cool to me because it determines whether you place things on top or on bottom. So right now this green square is on top of this text. If I scroll this down, it puts it, it keeps it on the top. But if I scroll it up, it'll move it to uh, the front. So the top is the front, the bottom is the back. Now, that's not a great example. Let's delete that text and let's put this box over here. So now you can see it a little bit better. So right now the green box is behind the text here, my name and the the uh, subtitle. So if I move this all the way up to the top, then it comes to the top. So it's uh, it's really cool. It has some some great kind of Photoshop like functionality to it, um, and I think that that's really nice. It can definitely add another layer to your presentation. Um, whatever you're clicked on, this uh, this little lock will lock that element into place, so you won't be able to move it after that. So I don't want to do that at this moment. Um, and you can also rotate objects as well. Simple up and down slider. So going down is counterclockwise. Going up is clockwise. So you can also make something more 3D. Um, has some very, very cool controls here. You can make things bigger or smaller with the T, with the Z, or rotating on the that front axis the y is you know making it come at you a little bit and the x is yeah so it's uh it's really cool options that you have here that you don't have with powerpoint that you don't have with prezi so um we'll go over some more in the next video